Hey guys, and welcome to this weekend vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to be starting off on this evening by just cooking a recipe. I meal prepped these burrito bowls, so I just chopped up some onion. I boiled some corn. I also chopped up some bell pepper to mix in with the corn, garlic, cilantro, roma tomatoes, black beans, and brown rice. And then I just added in some ground beef that we already had cooked for the week. These bowls were so delicious and nutritious and I really enjoyed how colorful the bowls were just because of all of the vegetables included. After I cook this recipe, I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen. I'm just going to be doing all of the dishes and wiping down the counters and stovetop. I'm then going to be heading to the gym for a little bit for a quick workout. I just did some cardio and arms and then later on in the video, I'm going to be getting ready for a fashion show. So I'm just going to be doing my makeup and hair and then I will show you guys a little bit of some of the dances and runway walks from the show. This was such a fun, productive weekend, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started with this productive, fun weekend. Once the corn was boiled, I just chopped it up on this cutting board, and I added it to a pan that was on medium-high heat. I also added some olive oil and garlic along with it, as well as the orange bell pepper that I chopped up. This combination tasted so good together, and I made it have a little bit of a kick with some more seasoning. Seasoning. So I just added a little bit of cayenne pepper, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of red chili flakes just to give it a hint of spice. This paired so well with the other mild tasting vegetables like the tomatoes, avocado, and beans. And I also ended up just eating the corn and bell pepper side on its own in other dishes throughout the week. Once I finished the corn, it was time to get all of the other ingredients ready. I just made some brown rice in a pot. I heated up some canned black beans that I seasoned with similar spices that I used for the corn. I chopped up some avocado and then I just assembled the bowl with all of the ingredients and it turned out amazing. It was a great balance of meat, vegetables, and carbs. It was super filling and delicious and lasted me for a few more days after I cooked it.
All right, guys, so this is how everything looked when it was done. I ended up topping it off with some cilantro and some chopped green onion, but I just love how colorful it was and it was super delicious on this night. I'm really enjoying making these healthy recipes and sharing them with you guys. I hope to be continuing cooking and healthy eating in future videos as well. So the next day, I just cleaned the kitchen. I was so tired the night before. I had been cooking really late and ended up just going to bed after dinner that night. But the next morning, I tackled the dishes that needed to be washed and I also loaded up the dishwasher. I thoroughly scrubbed down the stovetop and the counters and I just left the kitchen spotless just to start the day fresh. So let's just get started with this satisfying kitchen clean with me. I hope this video provides you guys with some cleaning motivation or inspiration just to get what you need to done today. That is going to be it for this kitchen cleaning. It definitely wasn't perfect, but I got everything pretty spotless as much as I could. And now it was time to continue with this productive day. I wanted to get an arm workout in today because I had a fashion show coming up later in the afternoon and I wanted to make sure that I had my workout done. So I did some cardio, I did the treadmill and Stairmaster, and then I moved on to the weights. So I just did arms. I did some hammer curls and some skull crush on the mat here and I also did some abs a little bit so I did some sit-ups and some leg raises. Working out like this always puts me in a better mood and I've been trying to be more consistent because my goal is to build muscle so that requires me to not only eat clean and healthy with a lot of protein but I also need to stay consistent with my workouts and make sure I'm targeting a different muscle group every day. In this next segment of this video, I'm going to be getting ready for a fashion show. So this fashion show featured several designers. It was a fitness wear theme and I was walking for a designer called La Bella Mafia. So I wanted to do a simple makeup look with a sporty type of hairstyle. So I chose to do pigtails for this runway walk and I'm just starting off with priming my skin with this e.l.f. redness correcting primer. It is a green shade to correct correct any blemishes or redness on the face. I'm then following that up with the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer, which I just put over any blemishes or red marks. I'm then going to be blending that out with a beauty blender. After that, I apply the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation. And this is very good for acne prone skin because it is non comedogenic and it helps improve acne because it contains salicylic acid. I've noticed that with other makeup products, my skin tends to break out and it feels really greasy after wearing the makeup for a few hours. But this makeup is a lot more flawless. It doesn't appear greasy. It doesn't clog my pores. And I actually find that it heals my breakouts rather than exacerbates them. So I made sure to blend out the foundation very evenly and then I just set everything in with this Neutrogena loose powder. I'm making sure to only apply products that are non-comodogenic and I'm also very hygienic with my brushes and beauty blender, making sure to clean them after every use so that they don't harbor bacteria. So this is the flawless skin look that was created by these products. I'm really loving this brand because I find that it doesn't break me out as much as before and these products are pretty affordable. 
I'm then going in with this Physician's Formula Blush shade. It is just a light pink shade. And then for my eyebrows, I'm just taking this spoolie brush and combing them through so that they look more neat. And then I'm topping everything off with this Cloud Pout Wet n Wild lipstick. I also applied the Revlon Eyes Wide Open Mascara just to open up my eyes a little bit and give my eyelashes a little bit of length and color. I was super happy with how the makeup look turned out. It was very simple, but it also gave me a little bit of color and it smoothed out my skin. It was just enough to appear refreshed and energized for the fashion show and it really complemented the fitness look that I was going for. So next, I'm just going to be doing my hair. I decided to leave out my bangs and do some pigtails. I thought this was going to be very cute and sporty and a little bit different than how I usually wear my hair. My hair was already a little bit curly from being up in a bun, so I just used a brush to neatly comb it up into two sections, leaving out the front pieces, and then I just used two hair ties to secure it, and I set in the hairstyle with the Radekin Dry Texture Hairspray. Hey guys, so I'm about to leave to head to the fashion show. I just have my hair up for now just to preserve the curls while I'm on the way. But this fashion show is going to be super fun. There's going to be dance routines involved, as well as a couple fashion designers. The designer that I'm walking for is named La Bella Mafia. It is a fitness style. I love their clothing. I have a bunch of pieces from their collection. So I'm super excited to represent this brand and I will show you guys a little bit of clips from the fashion show, behind the scenes, and my runway walk, of course. the fashion show it was such a success i loved all of the dancing in between the walks i tried to film a few designers for you guys to just see how everything went but i absolutely loved my outfit i loved the designer that i walked for and it was just a very quick fun time with some other models that i'm friends with so i really enjoyed it so i'm just going to head home and eat something real quick and then probably edit some of these videos after the fashion show, I just went home and I ate this meal and then I took a nice relaxing bath because I was super tired from all of today's activities. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. I really enjoyed sharing these productive activities and events with you all. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you very soon in the next video.